on in. What's up, what's good, what's pop, what's crack, what's percolating, what's really good in the hood? It is your man, Theo Butler, and welcome to him. So ladies, y'all y'all say y'all want a high value man? Episode, I ain't saying, I'm just saying what the rock is. <laughs> oh man, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a constructive comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Ladies, this is for you, but fellas, fellas, you can get something out of this too. Yeah, everybody can get something out of this. So, uh, what I say? Like, share, subscribe. Yeah. So I said that I was going, you know, there was a lane indeed to be filled. Kevin Samuel is gone. You know, some people feel some type of way, one way or the other, about it. That's not what this video is about, though. This video is about, we say we want to help black women, and I still see people, that, ironically enough, the same YouTubers that were slamming women before Kevin Samuel's pastor, still slamming women. So I'm like, I don't. You didn't make the adjustment, ain't you supposed to be? And anyway, anyway. So, like I said, you call me Uncle Theo, Coach Theo, Mr. Theo, um, Theo B. I don't care. Um, I love black love. I do. It ain't perfect, but I love it. I, I love black love. I love my black women. Too. So I'm going to see what I can do to help. You say you want a high value man. And regardless of what anybody say, you do have a chance. I can't tell you what that chance is, but you do have a chance to get a high value man. But first of all, we got to. We got to start off some places. First of all, have you had that self-assessment? I talked about that in the previous video. Yes, this video is a real black talk for real black relationships video. So have you had that assessment? That I'm just asking because that's going to help you have a better chance. Notice I didn't say get. I said a better chance of getting this high value man. Now, um, I asked that question because you said you wanted a high value, a high value man. You never said specifically what you needed from a man. <laughs> no, 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 I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying wants and needs are two different things. Everything you want ain't good for you. I, I, I ain't saying I'm just saying. So there's a difference. Between the two, and when I tell you there's power in the word, you need to know that there's power in the word. You didn't got that high value, man, and that, that ain't that ain't the dude for you. <laughs> <laughs> y'all incompatible. He's a high value man, but y'all incompatible. So, um, back to that self assessment. You say you want a high value man. No, no disrespect, my queen, but that's that's kind of vague, ain't it? A high value man. Before we get to this high value man, because you say you want a high value man, like I said, that's vague. You're not telling me specifically what type of man you want, what type of man you specifically need. So you ain't not talking about nobody else. And high value men, you know, I, I mean, I ain't saying I'm saying so. Let's divide y'all women into two classes: the tomboy and the girly girl. I think that's fair enough. Tomboy and girly girl. We're gonna. We know who the girly girl is, right? And we know who the tomboy is, right? Okay, cool. So, tomboy and girly girl. With this high-value man that you're interested in, what type of women are is he interested in? Is he interested in women who are more tomboyish? Or is he interested in women who are more girly girl? That's a fair question. You got to know. And these are all rhetorical questions because I don't know. You got to know to make this, to give this opportunity to work. Which one are you? Now, the reason why you need to know what type of female he is, if, if you've had this honest assessment, you should know whether or not you're that type of female. Right? Right. If you're not that type of female, are you willing to become that type of female? Because if you're not, then you need to find a high value dude that's interested in the female that whose qualities you have, right? Yeah, they don't need to go after the wrong high value dude because he like a girly girl and you a tomboy and you're not finna change. No, you need to go find a high value dude that like his women to have tomboyish traits. Right. In essence, make sure the high value man that you're attracted to is attracted to the type of woman that you are. If you're not willing to change. Because if not, you're going to have to make some changes. <laughs> more than clothing changes. More than cosmetic changes. You're going to have to make some internal changes. 
And we know that that's not something that every woman wants to do. Once again, you got to have this self-assessment. So, I'm going to let you know right now. Because I've been in relationships where females have been concerned about losing their identity. Never asked if I was concerned about losing mine. <laughs> <laughs> Both of y'all are in a relationship, lady. It ain't just you. He's in a relationship, too. And he's got to conduct himself a certain type of way. We get all the jokes. If you watch comedy skits, sketches, routines, shows, and everything like that, as soon as we say we in love, our boys that are the players in the crew, as soon as we say we got a lady, as soon as we say we thinking about we getting married, we get roasted. So, yes, as <laughs> soon as he professes, his desire to be with you, lady, yeah, yeah, his boy's letting him know. Especially if he used to run in, if he ran in the crew where he was the, the main hoe from whole frat hoe. Shout out to MC Hammer. Anyway, <laughs> too legit to quit. I'm going to let y'all know, because like I said, I'm on this. Any relationship has to be about you and your mate being able to fluidly compromise. What do I mean when I say fluidly compromise? Compromise at a moment's notice. Like, it ain't just what you want. It ain't just what he want. It's what y'all want. And if that ain't your mindset as a woman, because I'm not telling you it's wrong to have that mindset. I'm just saying, if that's not your mindset as a woman, you got to want to come together. Once you know who you are, then you'll be able to give yourself the best chance of being in a relationship with a high value man. Getting that high value man. Now I know, cause I, you know, we, we said this, um, Kevin Samuels and some other guys have told you that a high value man, you don't have a chance with a high value man if you already have children. That's a lie. That's a lie. I'm just gonna tell you why that's a lie. The dudes, I don't give a damn what the dudes say. I'm a grown, I'm a grown man. That's a lie, and I'm gonna tell you why that's a lie. So, ladies, let's 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 understand something. What, what's that old saying? Mamas, baby, daddies, maybe. <laughs> I don't agree with that. You're a father. Take care of your children. So, but you the mama though. And what do women say if a man makes a mistake? And says you like another female. What do you women tell her? Said, Ain't no woman like me. Ch child, please. I wish you would compare me to another female. Ain't no female like me. That's what y'all say. Well, hell, if you ain't like any other woman, safe to say you're not like any other mother. Safe to say you're not raising your son like another mother is raising her son. Thus, your son, while he might be similar to her son, is different. I know Steve told you we all the same. I know Kevin told you all, we all the same. I know these other male influencers that no, 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 no. Just like y'all different, we different. The sooner everybody understands that, everybody understands they gotta come different. Thank you. Thank you. So even if you have children and you want a high value man, you have a chance. You just need to find a high value man that has no problem with that. Now, mind you, because this ain't no gender thing. Because at one point in time, I was doing well financially. Tried to talk to a female. Know why she wouldn't talk to me? Because I had children. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't get mad because I was like this. Hell, that's her loss. <laughs> <laughs> So, you're a female. You got children. Okay. Find a dude, the high-value dude that likes children. More often than not, the high-value dude that, 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 that is a coach, that likes to mentor, that, 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 that doesn't mind, uh, how can I put it, giving advice to younger people, that's the dude you probably need to be looking at. Now, if you're going to feel some type of way because he spent his time doing so much stuff with helping other people. 
But that's the dude that if you got children, because he's already coming in with that mindset. But now what's the mindset you got? Ooh. What's the mindset you got? You got children. They're not his. You want a high value man. A high value man is going to see them children as his children as well. Are you going to see them children as his children? I.e. y'all children. Look at the message boards. Ladies, I've been in some of y'all message boards. Some of y'all can't figure out who need who's supposed to eat first. The man or the children. If you got children, some of y'all go, hey, I'm going to feed my children first. Ladies, let me help y'all out. <laughs> Leadership. Man. Woman. Head. Backbone. Lead. Support. I'm going to help y'all out with something. And this goes back to when I was in the Marine Corps, going to NCO school. Your husband, man, he's the head of the house. You should want to make sure he gets his food first. Y'all don't like that answer, right? But you're going to love the next answer I get. And that's where your whole gender bias things comes into place. Your husband, you should want to feed him first. He's the provider. He's the protector. You should want to make sure that he has the strength to go out there and do all of that. You should, without hesitation. But as the man, as the leader, because this is what we did in NCO school, he's going to make sure his wife and children eat first. Because if there's not enough food to go around, he's going to want to make sure y'all eat first. He's going to find a way. That's his role as a man. It's way too many of y'all that want to deny him the ability to even make that decision. Because you want to make it for him. Yet you want to be in a relationship. You probably need to stay by yourself. As a married man, I've been in multiple relationships with women who have had children before me. When it comes to that whole meal thing, it flip flop. Sometimes I would get my plate first, sometimes I wouldn't. But it was never an issue that I should get my plate first or that the children should get their plate first. It fell how it fell. So y'all are actually be making out a point of contention and the message board says a whole lot about your damn maturity. You and that man, when you get with him, become one. Let me say that one more time. One. Too many people are wanting to get in relationships and still be independent. No. When you get in a relationship, I ain't say you were smashing. I ain't say you was dating. And mind you, relationship is the prequel to engagements, which is the prequel to marriage. Well, hell, you don't wait till the day you say I do to start acting like you married. So if you got children... Before you get in a relationship, once you get in a relationship, you should know you get in a relationship with somebody who is going to see your children as their children, is going to treat your children like their children. If that wasn't the case, why the hell you get in a damn relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Made no damn sense. Like for real, no dead ass. So, I'm going to sum this thing up because I don't really want this to be too long. If it, if it goes for 15 minutes, I got to chop it up into two different videos, put it on Instagram. And I really want this to get out to as many people as possible because I want it to help <laughs> as many people as possible. So, I said all that to say this. You should know something about the man or woman that you're attracted to. Because I did say this video is about men and women and everything like that. So, when you say you, 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 you want this high value man... First of all, that's vague. You say, I want a high value man. No, what, what is the, specifically, who is the dude that you speaking about? <laughs> <laughs> you calling into these damn shows, you should be able to tell whoever you talking to about the person you, you claim to be interested in, what they like, what they don't like, what they eat, what their favorite foods is, what's their favorite color, who they hang out with, what's their favorite team. I mean, damn. 
if I'm scoping out, if I'm, that's me looking behind my scope of my M16. <laughs> if I'm scoping out a female, you want him, don't you? <laughs> you ain't scoped him out. You don't know what he, you don't know what he interested in. You ain't hollering at none of his homeboys. Hell, when we like a female, we, we, listen, we trying to be friends with a homie. Hey, what's, what's up with your homie? Or at least a homeboy. Hey, what's up with your homegirl? Yeah, but. <laughs> you, you, you got to know something about this dude. Because you, you got to know something about this dude so you know what you need to do. Now watch this. If you know something about this dude, then you call me. You email me. I can give you some ideas on how you should move to get next to this dude. I'm not guaranteeing it's going to work, but it's going to increase your odds. But you got to be able to tell me something about this dude. You can't tell me he like football, but he like that. Listen, I'm going to go. That's my youngest daughter. And I love being a father. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Thanks.